Welcome to the tutorial on how to create a gnome using your project box. Today we're going to create a gnome using the clay that was included in your bag along with some of the other tools um, that you got in your box. So let's begin. First you want to make sure that your slab mat is out on your table. You're going to be making the gnome hat as the first step. So uh, you're going to want to put your dowels out on your slab mat and have your roller there as well. You're going to go ahead and take your clay out of your bag. Now, we want to divide this clay up so that you can use part of it for the gnome body and part of it for the gnome hat. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of squeeze some of the clay off. Now, the goal is to roll out a piece of clay that is big enough to cut the gnome hat. So if you look here on your slab mat, it has to get to be about that big. So to start this off, I'm going to go ahead and kind of flatten my clay a little bit. And the roller on the uh, dowels gives us a nice starting point. Okay. You'll notice that the dowels actually leave your clay a little bit thick. This is pretty thick um, clay to be working with. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep rolling this out. There's a very good chance that you actually have more clay in your bag than you need. So I'm going to go ahead and keep lifting this off the slab mat and rolling it out. And when I get to that point where this is going to fit, it needs to go a little longer, uh, then I can stop. So I'm just going to make this a little longer. Sometimes uh, if you're a little smaller, um, it might be easier to get up on the chair and use your full body to press down with the roller. Um, that can help as well. So the reason I'm using this slab mat is that it um, doesn't let the clay stick to it. If I just used a table surface and started rolling out, it probably would catch on the table service and um, kind of like suction to it. So the slab mats are a nice release. So at this point, my clay is big enough to cut this out. Before I cut it out, however, uh, we want to make sure we put in the texture, okay? So in your box, you received kind of just a random texture tool. And I'll just show you kind of what that looks like. Every tool, every little texture uh, stamp tool is different. So this one kind of just puts this crazy design in here and I can use this or I can get creative. So I've got a kitchen fork here and so I can start to add some lines here if I want to do that. Right? Or I can go outside and find some fun textures. So for this one, um, I'll just roll in some fun textures here. And this was just a branch I went out and found in the yard. So that's another good way to add some funky texture to your um, things. I've got a fall leaf, a, dry, a dried leaf. When you do this one, it's nice to take the roller and actually roll that into your clay. And then you can pull this up. And you've got that nice leaf texture. So you can see here that I actually have quite a few textures in my piece of clay now. Um, these will be great because um, they'll catch where we put color, where we put glaze. So texture is really fun for that gnome hat. It's a really nice um, piece there. I have a little wood chip here. I'll show you kind of what that does. Kind of adds this really cool kind of organic striping. So, again, it's kind of what you make of it. Um, I kind of like to texturize things so it's kind of fun and different all over. Um, adds visual interest to that gnome hat, so you're going to do what you're going to do. Um, also, another texturizing tool that you might want to think about is just a little toothpick. So, a little toothpick, you can come in here and you can just kind of make these little shapes. So now I'm going to cut out my gnome hat. Okay. 
Got a couple different ways you can cut it out. I'm actually gonna cut it out using this little toothpick here. And I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm putting pressure and I'm actually, my toothpick is going down to the mat and drawing through the clay on the mat. So I'm just gonna take this and trace my gnome hat like so. Peel away those extra pieces. I'm not gonna ball the pieces up because basically this makes a wonderful beard later for our gnome. So I'm just gonna keep that to the side right now. Okay, and this is my gnome hat. What's gonna happen now is we're actually going to, so if you look at the gnome hat, this is the outside curve and this is the seam. So we have to bring these two together and attach them and this will end up being our little gnome hat on the gnome. Can you visualize that? Okay, so to bring clay together, we're gonna to follow a three-step process called score, slip, and squeeze. So you should have received a scoring tool in your box. It can look like a kind of a serrated metal rib, or it can look like a cut up hotel key card, or it can look like some little needles. And if um, you're still not sure, again, a plastic fork makes a great scoring tool. All of those will count. So to score, um, the process of scoring is to actually fray the clay. So then when we push it together and we smush it together, it kind of dries as a unit. So I'm gonna go ahead and fray the clay by scoring it up on the sides. You wanna do this to both sides you're pulling together. Okay, so we've got this all put together. And now I'm going to open up my container of slip. And slip is just liquid clay. So we're going to take that paintbrush that was included in your box and you're going to get some slip and you're just going to brush down this line here and you're just trying to leave it in the grooves and just kind of leave it in there. There it is. Good. And you do this to both sides. Okay. All right. So with that in mind, I'll just set this brush right here, set the slip apart. So now we're gonna bring this together and you're going to squeeze these together here. If it is easier for you to overlap, you can overlap. I'm just gonna bring these two together, kind of a little pinch here. Okay, and you can see my gnome hat is coming together here. Now, I'm going to use this wooden tool, the curved side, and I'm gonna bring this clay over this edge here, just to make sure my seam is all put together here. I'm gonna bring this together. All right. Now, that smoothing tool, so in your box you should have received like a rib, Again, it can come in lots of different forms. I'm just gonna draw this up the side and smooth this out. And you can take the clay off your card every once in a while and just really smooth this out. All right, so my gnome hat is done. This is how we do the little gnome hat. You can kind of round out the edges. And this is what will sit on the gnome body here. Okay, and you can see that it kind of drapes behind the little gnome body. So I'm gonna set that off to the side. Okay, and now we're gonna get started on the gnome body.